I've got some tips and advice on how to paint your vanity countertop. It's all part of my video series on a no demo reno in the bathroom. Let me get all the supplies and we'll get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is clean the surface of the countertop. With any paint project, we need to make sure that surface is clean of dirt, grease, dust, oils. And this Lime Away is the perfect cleaning solution to help with those hard water stains. Once it's clean, wipe it with water and let it dry. I'm gonna use a product called Beyond Paint, which is an all-in-one, so it's a bonder primer finisher that cures to a durable washable finish in just one or two coats. What I love about this product is there's no stripping, sanding, or priming needed. Beyond Paint comes in a lot of different colors too. I chose the color Pewter, which is a sleek dark gray. And make sure that you stir your paint as soon as you open it. I'm gonna start by using a flat two inch synthetic brush and trim around the vanity countertop. Then I'm going to use a smaller four inch roller because it's easier to use on a small space like this. You'll notice as you start rolling and painting that the product is really thick. And once it rolls on and you smooth it out, it's perfect to cover in just one or maybe two coats. The paint starts to dry after 20 minutes, but wait at least two hours in between the first coat and the second coat. Beyond Paint does offer color flex to create a faux granite look. For this bathroom vanity, however, I'm just gonna paint it this solid pewter color. You should wait 24 hours before applying the first coat of sealer. And the sealer provides extreme durability and the key to applying it is in super thin coats. If applied too heavily, it may have a cloudy finish and you don't want that, especially over this dark color. Before we apply the sealer, make sure to give it a really good stir. Using a different brush, apply the sealer into the crevices and around the countertop using a roller. Allow two to four hours before drying and apply a second coat of sealer. This sealer will give a countertop a low level sheen that will protect it. The countertop will dry in one to two hours, but it's still sensitive to chipping until it's fully cured, which takes around five days. You can wash the surface after 30 days with a mild soap and water. Don't forget to place a bead of caulk around the sink as well. If you like the way this countertop turned out, Keep watching. My next video, I show you how to create a faux granite countertop using those flakes in a kitchen.